Welcome back to the big idea. Tonight we're making millions with mom. We've got mothers and daughters who work together. It's a dynamic unlike anything else in the world. If you think about moms and daughters, what's one thing that's always got the potential to spark an argument? Dating. Men. Welcome, Big Idea, guys. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Wait a second. CEO, does this mean you're the boss? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm the boss to everyone except for the real boss. Because That's the real right. boss likes to remind her daughter that she owns 51%. She does that quite often. That. All right, just we do, we do a little research here. We're going to get to the business of matchmaking in a minute. And we're going to go through an exercise to see how you guys do things a little differently. If theoretically you were matchmaking, if not you were, how would you go about it? But we'll get to that in a minute. You've started the business. I've seen you over the years and all the ads and what you you're well known kind of very high end matchmaking right. and uh, you know basically people can spend 5000 10000 but you really deal in this very high end busy professional well known people who are looking for their matches mm -hmm. and you're a single mom raise how'd you get into the business well i used to be a photographer and i was asked to do photos at, at a single organization and i just was always matching people so i decided maybe i'd go into the business let's make some money out yeah it. and you had a very well established business and then you were an aspiring actress in la that's right and figured what the hell let me do some matchmaking out there and well my mother was flying to los angeles interviewing potential clients there and when i was pursuing um acting myself i had already worked for my mom in high school so she knew i i, I could do it and it was supposed to be a side business for me while i pursue my other interests but the los angeles times voted me best matchmaker of la and the phone started <laughs> ringing and so basically I, I walked away from the entertainment industry 12 years ago and started running and now company. you've gone from one office to how many offices we have 13 locations nationwide eight physical offices and about 33 matchmakers and that's amazing 33 matchmakers yeah and you guys go at it a little differently this is where I want to see the mother-daughter difference in that I understand you're a bit more gut and you're a bit more kind of methodical that's right. so let's go she keeps me organized keeps you organized <laughs> Let, let's go I want to see you guys work differently let's say I come in as a client and once again this is just okay. theoretical not going to happen but let's say I came in as a client <laughs> how would you go about finding me a match well, I ask all the, all the questions. You know, we talk about religion, if you have kids, if you want more children. Um, how, how wide of a net do you want us to cast in terms of geographics? Um, so we get everything down on, on, on paper. And my mom seems to get more to, um, you know, reading in between the lines, picking up the instincts. <laughs> So, you know, when you so put it together. So what would be together, the first thing you would ask me, and what would be the first thing you would ask me? Mom, what would you ask me? Sign. Well, I wouldn't ask you <laughs> sign, no. I would find out about maybe uh, past relationships and find out what, what, if, what type of woman you'd like to meet and kind of get an idea of what's worked for you in the past and, and just pertinent questions to find out what you want. And Amber, what would you ask me? If, if, if we, would, we would talk about a lot of the same questions, sure. but we would go about matching probably a little bit differently. When we talk about past relationships, I'd like to find out what brought you to that person in the first place, and then, right. of course, we talk about why didn't it work. Because I always screw up. That's pretty much why. <laughs> that. That's an easy one. That's okay. We have relationship coaches that <laughs> can help you with that. <laughs> so, sometimes people will be on that. There was an instance where you basically were having trouble matching somebody, and, Mom, you came in and said, no, this is the person for that. You said she was crazy and ended up turning into a marriage. Mm -hmm. What happened there? Well, she, she definitely goes off of the instinct. So, in other words, we'll have a client that'll say, for example, they're not open to race. They've never dated somebody that's, that's Asian, for example. And on paper, it looks really great. And my mom will come in, and she'll remember that, you know, her parents lived in France, and he happens to speak French. And she'll, she'll say, let's just put, let's do it anyway. And I'll say, but it doesn't say this. And she <laughs> says, you know what? I feel it. Let's go with it. And th but that's why they hire us. You know, it. How they, many marriages, guys, between the two of you? Uh, oh, well, 10 years. years ago, it was at 400, and then we stopped keeping track. Wow. It just got too big. So that's some serious matching going on there. Yeah. Well, it's a serious business. What have you learned about your mom working with her in business? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, she's the most ethical, honest, sincere person that I have ever met, and I interview people that own businesses every day. I don't think there's anybody that really, that I personally know that cares not only that much about the person that she's working with, but everyone that works for her. That's wonderful. That you guys seem to really have a great thing. That's I'm paying her for this. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Do you guys market yourselves? The great thing you have about your business is the mother-daughter, because obviously uh -huh. there are 26-year-old people want to be matched up, and there are 75-year-old people. Yeah. Yeah. And so the fact yeah. that you can kind of, not that you're 75, not that you're 26, <laughs> but that you can span the generations, I think mm -hmm. has a, a lot to offer. Do you guys market it that way? Uh, yeah, and sometimes um, you'll see pictures of both of us, and um, you'll see it in a, you know, in a magazine. And then other times it's just my mom's face if we're doing a search maybe for a gentleman that's looking for a woman in her 40s or 50s or older and then lots of times you'll just see my face so you you, you really have yeah. to the color her name is what is what the branding is is standing out because we definitely switch the pictures around for for that exact reason I like that what are most people looking for 
that uh, be on the uh, I would love to know from you guys. Oh, sorry, I'm going to lie down on the couch here, okay? What? <laughs> that's, what? that's what we do have the time. <laughs> okay, what? I already have an idea for you. This is, no, I no, know no, 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 no. We're not in the market here. That's what, what? they all say. No, 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 truly true. I have a, a well, it's a complicated. I have a little baby on the way. It's a whole complicated thing. Um, what do you, beyond what people would know, what do you think? What's the little magic fairy dust that you've learned over the years? Well, I, I heard some, uh, a quote once, and I think it makes a lot of sense. Two halves don't make a whole. Two holes make a whole. So I think that what wow. we're looking for when we work with someone, and what everybody wants, of course, is to be happy and to be loved. Well, sure, that's the end. But you the have end to love yeah. yourself first. And so you can say that you want to meet someone. You can pay money to meet someone. You can hire a firm like Kelleher to meet someone. It's not going to happen until you are ready yourself. But here's the problem. I can't get it right, and everybody tells me I love myself too much, so it doesn't add up then. I should be rolling in it, no? Well, what are you laughing yeah. at? I'm just laughing back there. <laughs> um, you know what? You probably haven't stopped to really think about it. And when you I'm have thinking. somebody in front of you like ourselves, we can find out what didn't work and, 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 and make that difference. And, Mom, what have you learned over the years about what really works? Oh, gosh. I don't know. There's so many variables there. I think when, when a person is ready to meet somebody right. and he thinks he's ready, especially men, when men are ready to marry, they'll marry his, whoever is in their path. So if they're with us, <laughs> us, us very... they, they do. They make a decision to marry, and they'll marry. And what don't they might we know about what person. men tend to look for in a woman and also what women tend to look for in a man that might surprise us? A bad example. But men seem to always think maybe there's sex on the brain, but no, ironically, no. Vice. Are there any kind of misconceptions, I, men and women? I think that men, of course, are very, you know, very sexual, very visual. But, but in the background, they're really looking at who's going to be a good mom to their children. And, yeah. and, I, and I think that they really look at that. They, they tend to take a little bit more time. And men that come to us are usually entrepreneurs, are extremely successful. They've kind of passed that first marriage where yeah. they, they either skipped it. And so now they're looking at, okay, family, who's yeah. going to be the wife of my children? And, yeah. and women, what don't we know? Oh, women are more complex. You know? Damn straight they are. <laughs> they really Damn straight are. they are. I can never figure out, you know, we just have to kind of trial and error, introduce them to somebody, get their feedback, see what works for them, what doesn't work. And then sometimes they'll want a person that is just this way, and then we'll What they put really need else. is something different. Yeah, well, we'll, you guys we'll are a great experiment. story. There's obviously a lot of love between the two of you and a tremendous Especially amount of success. So continued success. Thank you. Jill Thank you. Kelleher and Amber Kelleher.